Hello, I'm Greg Livingston, and I'm here on VG Logger, the note-taking website for video games. Uh, today, I'm going to show uh, I'll show off the video tool. So I'm signed in here already. I'm going to come down here in the sidebar menu to the new video option. Now, this tool lets you pull a video off of YouTube and start taking notes on it. So over here in this tab, I have pulled up a video I recorded of Gradius on NES with no auto fire. Just going to pull this video. And since I'm going to be taking notes on the first level, I'm going to call it Gradius NES level one. Let's go ahead and hit submit. And over here, it's got my video pulled up. And over here, you're going to see my notes come in. Down at the bottom here, we have my progress bar and the play button and timestamp button. So uh, the timestamp button allows you to save, basically place a bookmark at a certain point in the video. So this is the very opening of stage one. So I'm just going to say, Gradius NES and uh, intro segment, because this is where the level begins. Now I'm able to use this bar to skip around through the video. See if I can find the end of level one. We're right here. There we go. I heard the uh, jingle begin. So looks like at 2.23, second level begins. So now I know the span of time I want to take notes is between this timestamp 140 and 223. Uh, so I'm going to click this and go right back to the opening of the level. So for the purposes of level design notes, uh, the most important thing is right off the bat not to come to it, not to form any opinions but instead to come at it earnestly and, and slowly and modestly and just observe what's even happening. So I'm going to go through this intro segment and count, just count the enemies that appear. So right off the bat here, that was a, a segment of four zigzag enemies. Um, once you kill all of the enemies in that line, you get this red power up. And uh, normally what they do is they come on screen and then scroll back to the right and then come back over to the left. So that's why I'm calling them zigzag enemies. I'm going to name these enemies after their behaviors just because uh, their appearance... <laughs> they The enemies in Gradius have distinct appearances, but I don't know what they're supposed to represent. So we got a second one here. Third line. Fourth line fifth line, and that was that. So we got five lines of the four zigzag enemies, and then uh, we got three tracking enemies. Then uh, These enemies move pretty slowly, but they move up and down to match Vic Viper's height. So as the zigzag enemies have more of a scripted fixed pattern, these tracking enemies are more dynamic. One, two, three, four... All right, we had four waves of those. I'm just going to say X4. Looks like we've got more zigzag enemies. So first one, second one, third one. Ah. Right, we only had three that time. So, so far we've been able that you, the player has had an opportunity for at most eight power ups. Uh, and there's been what? Nine, twelve waves. So, if I remember right, I, Vic just killed off some tracking enemies, but let's replay. One. Okay, so that's... Two. Three. Alright, so we had... 
So are you tracking enemies and now? A different kind of enemy. Uh, sign wave enemies. Uh, these are move in a fixed pattern, but just up and down. And they, and they come in batches of two. And I just saw two red on screen. So that, there were three waves of that, and the middle wave had two red enemies. Now each red enemy, uh, like this one here, each red enemy spawns a power-up. So now that's ten, ten power-ups in the opening segment. And then we have three tracking enemies. Let's see if there's any more. Two and three. So it's interesting, the zigzag enemies you see a lot of, and then the tracking enemies you see a lot of, and after that, everything comes in batches of three. Now at this point, that's the end of the, uh, with the ceiling and floor here, that's the ending of the intro to the level, because we start seeing terrain. Um, and that's a trend throughout Gradius, that when you get to the part with terrain, the intro's over. If I remember right, stage five is the only one that breaks that rule? Anyway, I'm going to add a timestamp here to reflect that we have gotten to the body of the level. All right, so now anytime I need to play the intro, I can just come back here. Anytime I need to play the body, I can come right here. I'll just go ahead and hit play. Uh, now I want to find the end uh, when it gets to the ending portion. Yes, this. Every Gradius level ends with kind of a an enemy spam sequence where you get a bunch of enemies all at once. Uh, so this volcano part is the first iteration. Kind of signaled by that music cutting out there. So what times? Yeah, 139. Enemies. Uh, enemy. segment, let's call it. And then after this comes the big core. Oh. Around here. All right, so now I can uh, come through and surf any timestamp I need it can take me right to the volcano if I need, or big core if I need. Uh, and take notes as I need. Um, so for now, I'm going to go through here, take notes uh, of all of the enemies that appear. And when I come back, I'll be ready to show off the article tool. I should also mention that the notes I leave here are tagged in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, this is a note about level one. That's an important tag to leave. And for the categories, it's about level design. So I'm going to say that's one of the categories on here now. So now if I search the site proper, I can look up, uh, the other Gradius NES notes. And here we go. We're seeing the notes from my video because I just left those. But we also have uh, notes I left about uh, macro analysis of level one development. Um, left notes about the challenges that are in level one, so on and so forth. And those are the these notes are indexed uh, individually. And I can go back in here and see where they even came from. This does have mobile support as well, so let's go ahead and say we have a very small screen like this. It's still usable. I have these controls down here. Um, and the video takes up more of the screen to make better use of the, the phone real estate. So that's the video tool on VG Logger. 
Thanks for watching.